So for the past couple of days, we can see some new custom ROMs coming for Realme RM675 devices, which includes these devices. And those are like Pixel Star, Everest OS and like this some new ROMs are coming. So I thought let's review one of them. So I choose this Pixel Star OS and installed it in my Realme 6i Indian unit. So today I will review this ROM and this is another version of Pixel ROM. Like as we know there is some versions of Pixel ROM. They are Pixel Experience, Pixel Extended, Pixel OS and like that this ROM is also a category of Pixel ROMs. So without further delay, let's review Pixel Star OS today for our Realme RM685 devices and I will also show you how to install this custom ROM. So let's get started. So before proceeding to the settings, let me tell you why you should try this ROM. So the first reason is it's a Pixel ROM, so there will be many similarities to the pixel os and also the pixel experience and let me show you the benchmark scores that i got with this rom because that's important for knowing about this rom so all these tests were performed without using the performance script so this is the performance that i got without using any performance script or anything else i just used the stock kernel and i did not even set the performance profile to performance Yes, I am talking about the performance profile which we get in the realme settings. So if I go to the settings, you can see we have the realme settings here. I did not use the performance profile and I got this much score and you can see for five minutes the graph is really stable. It's like just like a straight line, but the big cluster frequencies were low. That's why after few minutes the performance decreased and the overall cpu throttling is around 78 percent which is not very bad but not good also then i tested with the performance mode but i don't know why the performance is not good here also you can see in the beginning we get some performance drops but after few minutes you can see the performance stabilized and then i again performed the test at this time also we get results like the first one here also i used this performance profile and the game mode both combined and i got this result talking about the geekbench score let me show you so when i used the performance profile to performance and using the game mode i got this much scores the single core score was 687 and the multi-core score is 1797 so this is not a great score but it's comparatively good but when I tested without any performance improvements you can see there is not a drastic improvement or downgrade the single core score was 685 and the multi core is 1748 now let's see is there even any customizations present in this rom because we did not see pixel star in the previous days and one thing i noticed in this rom which is a big advantage is the ram management you can see i was showing the benchmark scores from the geekbench then the google files and even if i open the telegram you can see all the apps are in the RAM. So the RAM management is really good in this ROM. So let's get to the settings and talk about the ROM. So if I go to the about phone, you can see this is Android 14 based Pixel Star version 1.2 Udai. And I don't know why it is named Udai. Maybe there is some person behind this ROM. Now talking about the kernel that is used in this ROM is the 4.14.336, which is the latest version. And the kernel is Strombaker kernel and the Linux is enforcing and one thing i will remind you that this kernel comes with the kernel issue so yes the kernel issue is working fine in this rom and you can flash any module in this now going back to the about phone in the system we get the realme settings as i showed you earlier and in realme settings we get a smart charging performance profile clear speaker game mode and the refresh rate and we get the fps overlay which is not useful while gaming because it shows the fps right here but in landscape mode it switches to this section but in this section we get the game stats in bgmi and in call of duty it may be helpful but i actually don't use this we have cape mark game mode fps meter etc which is more useful when compared to this now in gestures we get these gestures like swipe to screenshot quickly open camera navigation mode one handed mode quick touch and playback control and in press and hold power button we get the advanced restart 
so yes even being a pixel rom we get the advanced restart in this rom which is a good thing now in navigation mode in the gesture navigation we get an option called immersive navigation which basically hides the gesture pill and also hides the blank space under the keyboard which we also call IME button space so that's a good feature then we get the haptic feedback and gesture indicator and you can customize the pill length now in security and privacy we get device unlock in device unlock we get the fingerprint and face unlock with the screen lock and all are working fine you can see there is no delay in the fingerprint i will show you again you can see now in more security and privacy we get this status bar location indicator the notification on lock screen option you can turn off all notification in the lock screen and etc then we get the app lock which is an essential option for most of the customer users we need app lock for some specific apps so in protected apps you can add any app from your app list so that's a good feature and you can also customize the app lock timeout and enable biometric for unlocking then we get the app pinning and in extend unlock we get some extra features in wallpaper and style we get the typical android 14 wallpaper style you can see and if i scroll you can see we have different styles and in more wallpapers we get all the google wallpapers and the ai wallpaper and emoji workshop which we also get in the pixel os so these are some useful features that new custom rom users will like the most now moving to the next option we have more lock screen options and in more lock screen options we have use device controls dynamic clock etc and we have the edge lighting so you can turn on the edge lighting when new notification comes some edge lighting will appear so this is useful for amoled displays however if you like this features then you can use them and we also have the show on aod option and you can also customize the color the layout style etc so even being a pixel rom we get some important customizations that every custom rom user expects to get in a custom rom now in home screen ui we get the themed icons and the themed icons basically changes the icons in the home screen not in the app drawer now getting back to the other settings in display we again get some customization options because here we have the theming settings, we have the theme style, the color source, tint background, then we have the headline, body font, icon shape, icon pack, which we get in some customizable ROMs like Evolution X, Project Elixir. But it's a great thing that we get those settings in this ROM also, which is basically a pixel ROM. Then we have the smooth display and force peak refresh rate, and you can set the refresh rate to 60 hertz or 90 hertz and we get the adaptive refresh rate like realme ui the refresh rate will vary from 60 hertz to 90 hertz according to the app you are using and sometimes if we need to save our battery like in battery saving mode the adaptive refresh rate will decrease the refresh rate to save the battery then we get the tap to wake tap to sleep etc and if i test the lip to wake the lip to wake does not work from here we can customize that from lock screen now talking about the battery backup just like other pixel roms the battery backup is really good you will get around six to seven hours on your device but however with my 70 percent battery health i did not get more than seven hours of screen on time now this rom really has some cool features you can see even being a pixel rom we have the status bar battery indicator that shows the current battery status here you can see we have the battery percentage right here it is now on 49 percent also you can customize this we have some options you can also choose the text then we get the battery temperature the battery widget now in network and internet we get the private dns and in select private dns we only get the cloud player dns which is the most used dns then we have some we have an extra option which is disabled for vpn so whenever you use vpn the dns will be deactivated so this is all from the settings and i also showed you the benchmarks and again in notification we have some extra option like heads up and the senar heads up which disables the heads up for all the apps but keeps them enabled for dialer and messages which is the most important and we also have the flash notification which enables the flashlight for notifications and calls and in apps we get the game space and talking about system apps we get the gcam light and we also get the viper fx which is the full version of viper so you will get an immersive experience 
in the audio section and the gaming performance of this rom is really good i was getting around 60 fps constantly sometimes without even using any scripts and for few seconds there was frame drops around 50 fps so let's see a quick gaming review so we have the cape mark right here i will run the bgmi from here so guys in bgmi i have used a module that's why i am getting 90 fps so this test will be performed in 90 fps so let's start an arena training first and then we will proceed to a battle royale game so guys you can see from the beginning we are getting around 70 fps and again i am not using any script i will show you in few seconds So guys currently I am facing some network problems, the ping is going really high for few seconds. So this is the FPS we get in team deathmatch, now let's leave the match and I will play a ranked match for you so guys you can see the frame rate is around 60 fps and let's drop in the school you can see the frame rate is smooth enough thirty seven FPS forty five forty two forty three twenty five So you can see right now we are getting frame drops around 30 fps so this is the performance without using any script so i have just used the script from empty file manager now let's see if the bgmi is in the ram no it isn't so guys you can see after using the script we are not getting any frame drops it's constant 70 fps I will say 90 because that's how it feels however the FPS meters are just just crashed that's why I cannot show the live FPS but you can judge the FPS from the smoothness it is above 80 FPS so this is how the gaming performance is with the pixel star ROM I hope you liked this video now without further delay Let's get to the installation so let me just reboot into recovery so i will discuss two methods if you are in realme ui and if you are in android 13 or 14 custom rom so first thing if you are in realme ui you just flash this recovery which is twrp 3.7 based on realme ui 2.0 then then after getting into recovery don't need to wipe anything just go to install select your external storage because the internal storage is encrypted and flash the rom whatever you want like in this case it's pixel star os now after flashing the rom go to wipe advanced wipe select the data change file system to f2fs and again select the cache change it also to f2fs now the second case is if you are already in android 13 or 14 rom you will be already in f2fs so first go to wipe advanced wipe select data change file system to ext4 and swipe again go to wipe advanced swipe select cache change it to ext4 now go to select storage and select whatever external storage you have and flash the pixel star os then 
again go to wipe advanced wipe select the data change it to f2fs and select the cache change it all, change it also to f2fs this will format the storage so no worries about boot loop now when this is complete go to reboot and reboot to system so this is how you can install the pixel star os on realme rm6 and 85 devices if you found this video helpful make sure to do subscribe to this channel i make custom rom related videos so make sure to subscribe to this channel i will see you in the next one bye bye